looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. You were saying? You do realize the reception's been cancelled, don't you? Go! Be! <laughs> it's funny, really. Twilight here was suspicious of my behavior all along. Too bad the rest of you were too caught up in your wedding planning to realize those suspicions were correct. <laughs> Sorry, Twa. We should have listened to you. It's not your fault. She fooled every pony. Mm, I did, didn't I? This day has been just perfect. The kind of day of which I've dreamed since I was small. Every pony I'll soon control. Every stallion, mare, and bull. Who says a girl can really have it all? <laughs> Quick! Go to him while you still have the chance. Where? Huh? Is is the wedding over? It's all over. What's happening to me, Twilight? I don't know. Think back to last night. Did something happen? Spike, what did you do after I saw you? Well, I went to talk to... Spike! You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so grabby. My arms aren't usually this long either. 
What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave will boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon! That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh. Well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks, anyway. Come on, Spike. Ooh, he is starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> you mean the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. <laughs> Get away from her, you broke! Spike, what? You're not getting my scooter! <laughs> Spike, what? Hey, Spike, check out this amazing broom. Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible room. Stay still, Apple Bloom. You have to look sick. Ah! Hey, look at Hawk! What in the hayseed is going on in there, silly Billy? Oh, Granny Smith, we were just about to come get you. Apple Bloom's sick. Looks like she might have to stay home all week. <laughs> Perfect as a Piccadilly pear. Now what? It's already almost sundown. Tomorrow is Sunday, and I only have one more day to figure something out. Hey, look! That's the fourth sign! <laughs> Appreciation Day, so let's move Harvest Day instead. They don't look quite ripe. Harvesting apples early never hurt an apple. I don't know. Zap apple trees aren't like normal apple trees. They're magic. How different can they be? Well, if we can't buck them, let's just pick them.
She's going to be fine. Luckily, she has friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. How long do I need to lie here? I've got things I need to do. Well, that all depends on your recovery, but I'd say a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here. I'm going to climb the walls. Oh, just like a spider. Did the crash somehow give her super duper spider powers? No, nor did it give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. A few days? Days? Might as well be a few months or a few years. It's not so bad, Rainbow Dash. I bet the chow in here is hooked looking good. And the hospital gowns, they match the curtains. And look, you have a roommate! For the sapphire stone. This is the first story in the series. I own all of them. No thanks. I so don't read. I'm a world class athlete. Reading's for eggheads like you, Twilight. <laughs> no offense, but I am not reading. It's undeniably, unquestionably, uncool. She's serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang up tale from time to time? Why, a good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas on a Sunday morning. <laughs> reading is for every pony, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I love reading. And my head is even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple. Or maybe an orange, but a big orange. More like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little ponies. Rainbow Dash needs her rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you'd like Daring. She's a lot like you. Adventurous. Fierce and undeniably, unquestionably, unstoppable.
trek through the tropical jungle, the wet heat sapped her energy and slowed her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the cool blue sky. But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her wing and she was grounded for a few days. A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. I'm right there with you, sister. The mosquitoes buzzed loudly. The macaws cried from the high trees. Yet, all of these distracting noises were not enough to cover the sound of the predators following her every step. A treat from Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new chapeau will cheer you up. No, it won't. Come on, Apple Bloom. It's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. Apple Bloom, where are you going? Apple Bloom, come back! Well, who is it that we have here? Why, it's Apple Bloom, my dear. Oh! What has happened to you, youth? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. I tried everything, Decora, and still no cutie mark. Your frustration is well understood, but one must be patient for all things good. Ugh, I've heard that from every pony I know, and now from every zebra I know. I'm just too impatient to be patient. I just want my cutie mark and I want it now! For your cutie mark, you will have to wait. We must fix that tooth before it's too late. Now, drink down every little drop, and this mixture will mend that chip on top. Oh, my star apples, you did, Sakura! Golly! You have tonics that heal all sorts of ailments. Bad bones, bad back, bad breath. Yes, little one, it is true. I have many a healing brew. And not only stuff that fixes the bad, but stuff that brings the good. Good health, good hair, good heavens. Hmm. I bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. There are many mixtures in this room, but none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. A magic potion does not hold the key for a cutie mark. Time is the only remedy. Fine. What you got going on there? I am brewing up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost its crow, making mornings very slow. Hey, I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With Heart's Desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock a doo doo doo. Sowie! Heart's Desire, huh? I mean, but what is this? I've run out of amethyst. I must go get this purple flower for my brew to have full power. Yeah, you go, you go. I'm <laughs> so hungry. Yeah, I can't wait. Ah! 
I mean, it was. I mean, it is. Yes, it's pretty. Now put it down. I wonder where Cranky got this. Huh. Will you look at that? Hey, Cranky! Can I ask you about... <laughs> what did you say? Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay! Yeah! What have you done? Not all better, all soggy! I'm sorry, Cranky. Oh, you're sorry. Well, then everything is fine. It is? No, it isn't! Listen to me, kid. I will never be your friend. Never or never ever? Never, ever, 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 ever! That's four evers. That's like forever. I just can't believe it. Cranky said he would never, forever be my friend. It was horrible. I know this is hard for you, Pinky, seeing that you're friends with every pony, but you just have to accept that Cranky is going to be an exception. He just doesn't want to be bothered. Yeah, he doesn't want to be bothered by your over-the-top super hyper antics. Rainbow! No, no, it's okay, Twilight. I get what you're saying, what you're both saying, and I guess... I can leave Cranky alone. Right after he accepts my apology. Cranky! No! No! Leave me alone! Wait! I understand that you don't want me as a friend! No! I don't! Do I just want to say I'm sorry? Fine! You said it! Do you accept my apology? No! Oh, Cranky, please accept my apology! Please! No! But I'm really, really, really... <laughs> really, really... Ah! Really, really, really... Really, really, really... Really, really, really... Really, really, really... There's nothing you can do. You ruined my book. You destroyed all I have to remember her by. Her? Her who? The special friend? Go away, Pinky! Cranky, it's me again. I understand that you don't want to be my friend or accept my apology. Before I leave you alone forever, I have something to at least try to make up for ruining your book. No, I don't want it, kid. Anything you would give me is sure to lead to some sort of disaster. Goodness, you really are cranky. It can't be. Is it really you? It can, and it is. Matilda, but how? Pinky. <laughs> Forget it. I don't like ponies touching my hooves. Man, I'd love it if Gabby Gums did a story on me. She did one on me. <laughs> what? Ah! Exclusive. Local dragon tells all. Spack opens up about Canterlot, Naps, and his fight for jams. It's our best column yet. More like your worst column yet. Yabby Gums didn't become the biggest thing in Ponyville with Nappy Pamby stories like this. Uh, yeah, she's right. This column is a little softer than our usual gossip. Were you guys feeling guilty about all the gossip too? Like. 
Maybe we could be hurting other ponies' feelings? Yeah. I didn't want to say anything because every pony loves Gabby Gum so much, but I was sort of hoping we could start writing more stories like this one. Me too. If we're gonna get our cutie marks, we've got to give the ponies what they want. Aww. Applejack, asleep on the job. Can y'all believe this? And this one, Big Macintosh, what's he hiding? Who the hey does this Gabby Gums think she is? Listen to this one. Twilight Sparkle, I was a counterlot snob. A well-placed, scaly source close to the prissy pony says Twilight Sparkle thinks Ponyville is nothing but muddy roads and low-class rubes. Spike! Ah! How could you say such a thing? Well, I didn't! Gabby Gums made that up! I never said anything like that! Every pony, please! She's just a harmless school pony engaged in a little idle gossip. You're really making too big a deal out of this. But it's all lies. Gabby Gums prints whatever she wants. She doesn't care whose reputation she destroys. Fluttershy has tail extensions. Pinkie Pie is an out of control party animal. What? It's true. I do have a problem. <laughs> oh, look. According to this one, the cakes are breaking up. We are? Well, my life is officially over. Gabby Gums has made it to Cloudsdale. Rainbow Dash, Speed Demon or Super Softy? I grabbed as many copies as I could, but it was too late. I'm a laughing stock. See, Rarity, your so-called harmless gossip can be very hurtful. Honestly, you ponies have no sense of humor. So she tweaks a few ponies every now and then. Maybe they deserve... <gasps> I'll destroy her! The Drama Queen Diaries. She's reprinted my diary. How could Gabby Gum possibly get access to my private diary? We've got to put a stop to this once and for all. Sweetie Belle's on the newspaper staff. Maybe she knows who Gabby Gums is. <gasps> my sister would never associate with someone as beastly as Gabby Gums. I resent you even suggesting such a thing, Twilight. Why, she's the most innocent, most lovely. Most evil pony in Equestria! How could my own sister steal my private diary? How could my own sister be... Gabby Gums? It's two Gabby Gums! You know? How'd you find out? The gilded pages of your betrayal! Oh, yeah. How could you do this to me? You sold my sacred diary and published it for all the world to read. Gossip can be a very hurtful thing. It is an invasion of privacy. Just like when I snooped through your saddlebag. You didn't like that much, did you? No. Help! Help! Looks like my sky swim will have to wait. I'm Rainbow Dash, and I'm here to rescue you. Crowd. Uh, thanks, every pony. It was really no big deal. To me, it was. You're my hero, Rainbow Dad. That Rainbow Dash sure is something. Something special. Just aren't enough words in the dictionary. 
dictionary to describe Rainbow Dash's awesomeness. I can think of a few new words, and I bet modest is not one of them. <laughs> She is kind of awesome. <laughs> Never fear! Your friendly neighborhood Rainbow Dash is here! but I think this whole hero thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right, silly. And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name, Rainbow Danger Dash. Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Applejack. How would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof-picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about. Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. Ah! Spike the ghost! Excuse me, AJ, but we didn't travel all over Equestria searching for you to come home without you. Well, I didn't ask you to come looking for me. There is nothing to tell, and I am not going back to Ponyville. I don't care what she says. Applejack's not telling us something. Twilight's right. We gotta get her to spill the beans. What? She had beans? Uh, I told her I would snack eight. You ready to put your back into it, Applejack? Sure am, Miss Jubilee. Terrific! Come on in, girls! What are you all doing here? We're your cherry sorters. Shall we get started? Fine. <laughs> Red cherries go in one bin and yellow cherries go in the other. Simple as cherry pie. Uh, just one teensy thing to remember. Have fun! What are you five up to? Well, uh... You made working on a cherry orchard sound so delightful. Uh-huh. Well, just remember, no talking about Ponyville. Fine. Why don't you quit talking and get walking? Jay, how was Canterlot? Not talking about Ponyville, talking about Canterlot, totally different town. Canterlot was fine. Was the rodeo fun? Yes. Did you meet some nice ponies there? Some. Really? Did you see Wild Bull Hickok? Oh, what about Calamity Mae? Yes, I saw them both. And how did you meet Miss Jubilee? Um, well... Miss Jubilee had a cherry stand at the rodeo. Real good treats. Um, excuse me? Cherry winks, cherry cheesecake, cherry tarts. We struck up a conversation being orchard folk and all. So you told her about Sweet Apple Acres? Yes. Did you tell her why you weren't going back? No, because it was none of her business. Oh, can you please slow down? Is it because I made it rain on you that one time? No. Because you were insulted when I gave you that book on organized orchards? No! Is it because you were insulted when I insulted your hair? No, no, no! I'm not telling you why, so just stop!
Well, girls, we seem to be striking out. That's because we're playing too nice. Yes, desperate times do call for desperate measures. It's time to call in the big guns. You promise not to ask me any questions? I promise. Have you ever had a cherry chonga? Oh, sorry, that was a question. That kind of question is fine, Pinky. No, I, I never had a cherry chonga. Well, no wonder, because I made it up myself. A cherry chonga is mashed up cherries and a tortilla that's deep fried. Cherry chonga, great name, huh? Oh, but maybe I should call it a chimney cherry. Ooh, that's good too. Which do you think sounds better? Cherry Chonga or Chimmy Cherry? Or what if I combine them? Chimmy Cherry Chonga! Oh, what sounds the funniest? I like funny words! One of my favorite funny words is kumquat! I didn't make that one up. I would work in a kumquat orchard just so I could say kumquat all day! Kumquat, kumquat, kumquat! Shy, what are you doing? That's no way to behave! Didn't you see what he did to new Fluttershy? And he thought new Fluttershy was a pushover! No, sweetie, he didn't. We saw the whole thing. We think that you've taken your assertiveness training a little too far. What? You just want new Fluttershy to be a doormat like old Fluttershy. But old Fluttershy is gone! New Fluttershy? Old Fluttershy? What happened to nice Fluttershy? We want that Fluttershy back. No, you want wimp Fluttershy. You want pushover Fluttershy. You want do anything to her and she won't complain Fluttershy. Yeah, too many Fluttershy's to keep track of. Make it stop. Things getting too complicated for your simple little brain, Pinkie Pie. Now, stop right there. Let's not let things descend into petty insults. Why not? I thought petty was what you're all about, Rarity, with your petty concerns about fashion. <gasps> hey, leave her alone! Fashion is her passion! Oh, and what are you passionate about? Birthday cake? Party hats? I can't believe that the two most frivolous ponies in Ponyville are trying to tell New Fluttershy how to live her life when they are throwing their own lives away on pointless pursuits that no pony else gives a flying feather about! <laughs> Looks like Nasty Fluttershy is here to stay! Oh, I cannot believe what that monster Iron Will has done to you! <laughs> <laughs> Iron Will's not a monster! He's a Minotaur! I'm the monster. I become a monster. Oh, sweetie, you're not a monster. No, but he is. Iron Will's my name. Training ponies is my game. What a darling little catchphrase. Your friend Fluttershy loved Iron Will's catchphrases. Word on the street is that she doesn't take no guff from no pony. So, Iron Will is here to collect Iron Will's fee. Fluttershy is in no shape to deal with that creep. <laughs> I'm sure a big, brave, powerful, and rich monster, I mean, Minotaur, like you, doesn't need that money right away. You can afford to come back later. Are you kidding? Fluttershy is overdue as it is. I will collect now. Do something. We're not even sure Fluttershy is home right now. 
now. Uh, she might be off frolicking with some woodland creatures. Uh, why don't you give us some time to track her down for you? Well, Iron Will does have some grocery shopping to do. Iron Will will come back this afternoon. But that's only half a day. We need one full day at least. Iron Will will delay for half a day and no longer. A full day. Half day. Full day. Half day. Half day. Full day. We need half a day and no more. Well, you'll get a full day and no less. Okie dokie. See you tomorrow. Wait, what? Huh, sounds like the search won't be necessary. Iron Will collects now. But we have an agreement. You gotta come back tomorrow. When some pony tries to block, show them that you rock. <laughs> <laughs> Guess the raid wasn't a total waste after all. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Nice going, Spike. Well, what are you waiting for, Spike? Smash it! Smash the egg? Yeah. Yeah. Throw it on the ground as hard as you can. Yeah. Smash, smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! And I'm not gonna let you hurt it. What did you say? I said no. No one says no to me. No pony's gonna lay a claw on him. That's right. Fighting's not really my thing. I'm more into fashion. But I'll rip you to pieces if you touch one scale on his cute little head. <laughs> Scary! <laughs> Spike, are these Namby Pamby ponies your friends? Yes, they are! And they're better friends than you could ever be. Now, if you don't back off, you'll see what us ponies do when confronted by a huge group of jerky dragons. Oh, yeah? What's that? Run away! <laughs> <laughs> That was a close one. Thanks, you guys. Of course. What are friends for? You're more than friends. You're my family. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, seeing the great dragon migration made me wonder what it meant to be a dragon. But now I realize that who I am is not the same as what I am. I may have been born a dragon, but Equestria and my pony friends have taught me how to be kind, loyal, and true. I'm proud to call Ponyville my home and to have my pony friends as my family. Yours truly, Spike. <laughs> hey, welcome to the family, Pee-wee. Stick with me. I've got plenty to teach you about being a pony. Of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary? Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. <coughs> but Nightmare Moon wants just one thing. To gobble up ponies in one quick swing. <coughs> Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by. So if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year! Oh, uh, Miss Zakora, 
If we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two, so she won't return to come eat you! your princess desires, not screams of terror. <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived. <laughs> change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now we even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume! Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is... Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! Fancy <gasps> pants! I say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Well, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive taste, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. <laughs> Again, I am really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Hmm? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, uh, no, sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh, Rarity. Rarity. Seeing the derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con! Going to the derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro! Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con! 
Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the Derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My Ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. And I won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. Jolly good to see you. So glad you could make it. Every pony, this is Rarity. She's staying at Canterlot Castle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wonderful Derby. The competitors are taking their places at the starting line and are racing to begin momentarily. I'll be rooting for rapid fire, of course. Be sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! <laughs> I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? My friend Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonderbolts trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonderbolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, really. Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. all you can do, huh? competition, so I'm going to have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. You gave it your best shot. Maybe I've got a gold star sticker around here somewhere you can have, but seriously, go home. <laughs> 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 
You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway... You're all outstanding competitors. But there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking mm. contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against me! Through Ghastly Gorge! Dun dun dun! Kazoo Knight. Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun! <laughs> I've flown through it a million times myself, so uh, obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? Set, go! 